This month alone, we've learned about huge companies being hacked in aggressive new ways, and it includes McDonald's Twitter account and Yahoo, so big companies. Well, what's behind these recent events, and what about the security of all of our smartphones and our other devices? We've got you covered. Here with What You Need to Know is Sherry O. Well, gosh, you think if they can't keep their accounts safe, how are we supposed to how do it? How are we supposed right. to do it? And these crooks have continually evolving methods. So now, for example, their access points are different. It used to be that they would try to hack passwords and whatnot. This time with Yahoo, for example, um, they basically hacked other numbers that gave them access as cookies. So they tricked the Yahoo servers into thinking that they were prior visitors who were just coming back, sort of a back door yeah. that Yahoo just wasn't available uh, aware of. They're also finding different uses. So rather than just spam or um, stealing accounts, in this case, one of the uses was they redirected search engine traffic. So people would search for certain things. They provided phony results that basically paid them for the traffic. And then the, uh, uh, the targets are also changing, Roxanne. So a big new target is actually our household devices that are somehow tied to the internet. That's so scary. So, okay, what type of household of devices? Anything that is automated and you think, wow, this is so cool, that's tied to the internet or your Wi-Fi, actually is a vulnerable type of a device. So routers you'd think of, but right. also even thermostats, digital recorders that are tied to security systems, that type of thing. One example happened in Finland. This is a more publicized example where the thermostats in an apartment complex were hacked and then the uh, the hackers used that to hack, a, to go through there to hack a British gambling website. So so all of our household appliances that, that use the internet are really vulnerable. Who figures that stuff out, that you can go through an apartment complex thermos, thermostat right. and then hack a gaming company? Well, the good news is we know that wow. these guys go after high profile, high dollar, high reward sites like Yahoo, or they go after the lower lying fruit, like those of us who really aren't aware of these things and protecting ourselves. So the key is just to be aware and make your, oh, yourself a little harder target <laughs> than other people. I'm just, it, it's just mind boggling to me. Right. Because I don't understand how all of this, when you get that in depth about all of this, it's, it's crazy to think how it right. works. Well, you need, when you are shopping for any of these appliances now, whether it's one of these Nest or Alexis yeah. or, the, or the digital security system, you want to ask about security. People don't. We normally think about security in the context of our desktop computer or iPhone, right. that kind of thing. But you need to ask about security. You need to ask about possible security upgrades. When you set up those systems, sometimes they have adjustments that you can make for added security. And a biggie is we often think that the passwords for you know a home camera for example don't really matter that's what these hackers are looking for the automatic default passwords one two three four whatever it is so make sure that you are taking advantage of the passwords the secret passwords that you can do and when there is a security patch released go ahead and take advantage of it don't take Use this it. for granted mm -hmm. anymore no yeah. don't at all yeah good info ask questions get the info you need yes. thanks sherry sure. appreciate it